A lot of athletes said they would look for Randy's face in the scrum. You could see his good heart just by looking in his face. For me, I, I, I just, I, every time I would see him in backstage at, a, at an event, and seeing his smile would always bring me comfort. No matter what might have happened before, you know, bad practice or even a bad skate, he would always be a comforting presence. One of Randy's guiding lights was, I want to write a story that my mom will want to read. And she doesn't know about luge or biathlon, but she loves stories about people. You know, getting to know the person was everything. What made Randy unique amongst his fellow reporters was how much he cared about the athlete and their story. It's really hard to find that reporter that you really connect with. You don't consider them as a reporter, you consider them as family. And Randy was one of those people for me. Because Randy was such a good reporter and had done such solid work and had won the National Newspaper Award a few times, he was offered what at the star would have been considered a big promotion. You know, you don't have to cover the amateur athletes anymore. You don't have to cover the Olympics. I think people were sometimes puzzled when he'd say, no, I'm good. To him, there was something very particular to Olympic athletes and amateur athletes. It's the fact that they weren't on the front page every day. I think that's why he had a special passion to tell those stories and to introduce people he had such respect for. Please join me in congratulating the winners of the Randy Starkman Humanitarian Award. Thank you very much. People love the Olympics because of the stories. And nobody told those stories better than Randy. And that's why we love him. I think it's important for Randy's story to be told because, yes, of his work, but for who he is. And a character like Randy is, is very hard to find. And it's important to remember the type of energy and the character that he upheld throughout his career. Randy is a true role model for future generations uh, in reporting, in sports, in life. Uh, he's, he's, he's really missed. He'd be so honored and he'd be so thrilled so gratified and so grateful and he'd, he'd be squirming. He'd be very uncomfortable um, feeling all the love.